My name is Amanda Gallette, and this is my first year as an artist for My Cause, My Cleats. I work reception here in the afternoons, and um, Community Affairs approached me because they know that I'm an art student and asked me if I would like to participate, and of course I agree. So initially, I meet with the players um, and get their ideas, so they tell me the cause that they want to work on, um, some general ideas what they have it should look like, and some of them do and some of them don't. Some of the guys say, you know, go crazy, use your creativity, do what you want, and other guys have you know, very uh, specific messages they want to relay. Once we meet with them, I do a ton of research on their organizations. You know, some organizations have a very set look. You know, they, you know, their websites are very uh, well done and they have this, you know, look that they're going for. And that's actually really helpful because I can use that in the design, whereas others, maybe not so much. It's a little more open to interpretation. Maybe they have a logo and that's about it. Um, so in those, you know, I have to stretch myself a little bit more and um, that's actually great because I'm able to be a little bit more creative with those. The, the most important part is actually the prep, is getting that first layer of sealant off the shoe because that's really what makes that um, the paint adhere to the surface. And then once it's all done, I have a finishing layer, like a sealant that goes on top. Um, everything I use is made for, you know, painting on shoes, so it stands up, you know, pretty well. I've had one instance with Morstead in his last pair for the What You Give Will Grow, um, where he had some peeling at the toe, so I was panicking and I, I contacted Thomas and I'm like, I'm so sorry, you know, I'll, you know, repair the shoe, whatever you need, and he's like, look. That field was a mess. My shoe was stepped on immediately. He was like, the guy who you know we're honoring with these shoes would love them. He's like, it's battle scars, so don't sweat it. What bridges them together is really the causes. Um, for a lot of artists, you know, it's the message that you're relaying in the artwork that's important. You know, it goes just beyond having a, a very beautiful or aesthetically pleasing image but something that's powerful and you know gets attention and that's really what the program is about is bringing awareness to these organizations and these charities so that's really the the bridger I think between the sports and the art is the message and trying to raise awareness of these really amazing organizations this is not possible for me as you know, a full-time student, a mother, you know, a saint staffer, that I would not be able to get this done if not for the help of my husband, Gary Wood, Shane Bouvier, who has helped us with the stencils, my kids, Angelina and Gibson. You know, I have a whole team of people behind me making sure that I'm successful and that we're all, you know, putting this out there for a good cause.